the iPhone SE do? In the world of trailblazing, eyebrow raising, kidney stealing iPhone X, a cheap $400 iPhone will be a blessing. There's been a lot of news lately regarding the 2018 iPhones. We know the main headline news from KGI that Apple will launch three iPhones in 2018, all with Face ID. But recent reports tells us that there's going to be a fourth iPhone, which will be the last iPhone to have this old design language with the Touch ID, as we do know that Apple is moving completely towards the Face ID. Even the iPad will have Face ID. It's going to be a notch year from Apple. But still, one last time, the 4-inch iPhone SE 2 will give us Touch ID, and there will be a lot of other improvements too. And you might be thinking, why making a 4-inch phone in 2018 when everyone is going big screen? Well, this is exactly the reason why iPhone SE 2 is coming. There's still a huge market for a high-end 4-inch phone. The original iPhone SE was a great success in the United States, which is why even Samsung is rumored to bring an S9 Mini to take on the iPhone SE 2. It's been four Four years since the last time we have seen a compact S series phone from Samsung. The only Android manufacturer that still produces powerful compact smartphones is Sony. Their last high-end compact phone was the Sony Xperia XZ1 which was launched with a 4.6 inch display. So presenting you the actual kid boo of phones, the iPhone SE2. These are the best and most accurate and real looking renders based on the leaks and rumors. Made by the talented Apple underscore i designer. He did an amazing job. Make sure to check out his socials. I will be leaving the links down below in the description. So you can see we still have that gorgeous look, that 4-inch form factor with the iPhone SE 2. And it's having a glass back. Yes, a full glass back with aluminum on the sides. Basically, the iPhone SE 2 is the combination of iPhone 8 and the iPhone 5S. You have the same design but with glass on the back for the support of wireless charging. Now, as for the internals, it will have the power and features of an iPhone 7. So you get a 12 megapixel camera on the back, same as the iPhone 7, which is still an excellent camera, takes some great photos, and a much needed 5 megapixel camera on the front, which is an upgrade from the 1.2 megapixel camera of the iPhone SE. Under the hood, we will see an Apple A10 Fusion chip, which is super fast. And combined with the 4 inch display, this thing will fly through everything. 1700 millibar battery, which is going to be slightly bigger than iPhone SE's battery, uh, and the storage options are. 32 and 128. The release date is scheduled for May or June. So pretty much you're getting upgrades everywhere and I personally think that if they release the iPhone SE 2 it's going to be a big success. According to Economic Daily, a Chinese language site, Apple is working on a low-end iPhone codename Hangzhou. This low-end, low-price model will apparently be launched in an attempt to seize the low-end market. The most recent report from Taiwanese Electronics Times said that Apple will indeed introduce a new cheap iPhone this year, expected sometime around in June. And another new report from an industry expert at Trendforce, and they believe that Apple is allegedly preparing a new iPhone SE 2. The analysts write that Apple will launch the second generation of iPhone SE in 2018 to capture the attention of the budget buyers who are looking for a smaller device. So with all these reports coming out regarding the iPhone SE 2, it's certainly a big possibility that Apple will release this phone and every report points to an early 2018 announcement. Again, personally, I think it's going to be a successful iPhone. There are still people out there who like this 4-inch form factor. In fact, my own brother uses the iPhone SE just because of its convenient size. So there's been a couple of theories about an iPhone XE with Face ID, but that's not going to happen because according to KGI, Apple don't have enough resources for a fourth Face ID powered iPhone. They are already making three of them, so the iPhone XE is just a concept at this point, so it's not gonna happen. The main possibility is for the iPhone SE 2 with a glass back and a front similar to the normal iPhone SE with Touch ID. So yeah, that's all we have on this story. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think about the iPhone SE 2? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.